Uh, <laughs> David, here's what here's what uh, the White House's own. Uh, uh, I guess it was the the. Principal Deputy Director of the White House National Economic Council. He's a principal deputy, so he must be really important. Jason, Fer Jason Furman. He said that none of the money, uh, the, the, it was never our plan to bring the deficit down and to get debt under control. That this Buffett, this Buffett tax, when you look at this analysis, really has nothing to do about shrinking the deficit. This is being done in an election year in the state of Florida, which is a swing state in the campaign. As the president knows, there is no chance of this passing. So how is this serious? Yeah. Even if you agree with Erica and, and uh, multimillionaires should pay 91% in taxes, okay, that's your position. But even if that were true, it's not going to pass. So why go down this yeah. road? Why not be, to, be together in some type of bipartisan path? Well, I agree. This is largely symbolic. But I think there is an important principle here, which is, People living off their stocks and investments shouldn't be paying a lower tax rate than people who work for a living. And I'll give you an example that, that you can relate to, which is, you know, in 2010, uh, Mitt Romney and Bill O'Reilly made about the same amount of money. They both made about $20 million. Romney uh -oh. paid Romney paid 14% taxes on that. Bill O'Reilly paid 35%, the top federal rate. Now, I don't know why Romney, who wasn't even working actively in his business, he was campaigning for president, should pay half the, less than half the tax rate uh, Bill O'Reilly was coming to work well, every day, except when the you're principle here, is, right, the, principle, I the principle I, here is that rich people who live off their wealth and stocks, which most people don't have, shouldn't be paying lower taxes than well, people but, who go to right. work every single day. Well, it makes, here, here, it makes right. no sense, Laura, and it's one I, of the biggest loopholes we have in the tax system. Well, I understand, I understand your point, but yeah. the numbers are meaningless. $46.7 billion over 10 years, when over that time period, if we continue down this Obama road, Erica, we add seven trillion dollars to our deficit. Seven trillion. So, Laura, Laura, can you so come Laura back a couple of things. David, hold on. And, and I really like your, your difference between those, but I would put it a little bit more starkly than you. This is the difference between trust fund babies and people who work for a living. That's really the you difference. Saw, you You're talking people, about people my mother, who was a high school principal, my father, who was a judge. I'll you think that you. those people I'll one up you on should that. My pay mother was a waitress. higher. She, yeah. My mother spent her entire life and as a waitress mother, until she put herself no. through college. Yeah. But, um, but you're saying that those people, that people like that should pay a higher tax rate no. than Paris Hilton, than a trust fund baby. The Buffett rule, and it is a rule, what? is to say that we live in a society Erica, where that is not, absolutely unacceptable. It's not serious. For somebody who, how it's, is it not serious? Because it has no chance of passing. Can I tell you? Can Senate? I tell you why it has no, no chance of passing? Because Republican senators will hold it Two up years. because they care more about Two years, their Erica. wealthy Erica, contributors the, the than they care about average Americans. Grandstanding on this doesn't change the, the Paul facts. Ryan the president well, has hold no on, chance Erica. of passing either. Yeah, David. Right? David. So let's not let's not talk about what can pass. David. At least the numbers are interesting to examine. We had two years of hold on. We had two years of a Democrat-controlled Congress and the White House. Two years. You guys pushed through not the Buffett rule, not the serious deficit reduction. You pushed through health care reform that's about to be overturned by the Supreme because, Court. Because that was Laura, the president's decision. Everyone in America knows that if you are trying to run a small business, yeah. as I have run a small business, Join you look at the rising cost of health care, and that is a noose okay. around the neck of small business. Something had to be done. You also look so at the hole that we were in, 750,000 jobs being yeah. lost a month trying to come out of that this hole. This is about impact. trust fund babies and people trust who work for the demagoguery being. is so lame. This small is not demagoguery. There are 370,000 people in the small, country. You make more than okay, a million dollars a year. We can't have a, a segment year. if you just talk over the other person. However, we have people who've made a million dollars for the first time in their business lives who then go on and invest some of their earnings into other companies. To demonize those people and call them trust fund babies in Paris Hilton 